Hello friends, in this video lecture, we are going to discuss our next uh, part of the JavaScript that is called as uh, inner HTML property. As we were discussing the DOM manipulations and uh, in continuation with that, we are going to, we have discussed so many methods related to DOM manipulations. So in this lecture, we will particularly discuss about this property which is called as inner HTML. And what is this inner HTML? What can we do with this property? So to understand it, uh, the Levin definition says, the inner HTML property can be used to write the dynamic HTML on the HTML document. Now what do I mean by that? Suppose if I say, let us take an example, my HTML page is containing one button with the value generate and on click it wants to show, it wants to call certain method which is named as show. So I have created a, a method named as show without any definition. Okay. Then I have created this div id equal to lock and I have closed this division part. So as an output, it has generated this HTML page, which contains a button, okay, that is saying generate. And now suppose I want to say that on clicking this generate button, I want to generate some HTML uh, content. Let us say I want to generate one more button, I want to generate one text box, okay. So to achieve that kind of output using HTML, we can use this inner HTML property. That's why it is said that it can be used to write the dynamically generated HTML on the existing HTML document. Okay. So to perform such task, what we have to do, we have to simply uh, map this show button with this code. So as we are calling the show button, I have written this function show. Now what we have to do, we have to create uh, where I want to generate for that I have uh, allocated this location, this division. So this uh, this division part is generated after this generate button. As I have not mentioned uh, to see this, suppose if I say uh, this is div and I refresh it, you can see this is the division part which is generated after this generate button. But for time being, I am not writing anything inside this div because in this part, I want to generate the dynamically generated HTML or DHTML. Okay. So if I refresh this, you can see it is gone. Generate button is not working. Now to map this div with this function, what we'll have to do? We'll, uh, we'll be use the document dot get element by id method of the DOM manipulation. So for this, I'll say document dot get element by id. So I'll fetch this element with this id which is lock. So I'll say dot document dot get element by id and inside that I will say lock and I will use its inner HTML property. Okay, So it is having inner HTML and inner HTML I want to say it is generating one more uh, one text box. Okay, So I will say input type equals text Okay, and then I close this text box and then I put a semicolon at the end of this line. Okay, So what this function will do now. Suppose if I if on click I, I call the function show, what it will do? It will uh, call this function show. This function will catch or will fetch the element with this particular id because I am using the get element by id method. So it will fetch this id, this division part and inside this division part, it will put the inner html as this, this particular html tag. Okay, so I have created input type equals text. So it should generate a text box. So I'll save my page and if I refresh the page and if I click the button generate, you can see it is generating a dynamically generated HTML element, which is a text box. Okay. And now if I say input type equals to text or if I say input type equals to button. Okay. And now if I refresh the page and you can, if I click the button, you can see it is not containing any value, but it is created button because I have not created uh, written the value inside it. So I'll say value equals to, uh, I'll say new button. And if I refresh the page, if I generate the button, you can see it is generating a dynamic DHTML generated button here, which is with the, which is with the value new button. So this is how we can use this inner HTML property to generate uh, dynamically generated HTML. Okay. So this particular uh, inner HTML property is specifically used in the web pages to generate the more complex 
HTML codes such as uh, registration form, comment form, links. You may, you have seen uh, you may have seen various uh, uh, websites which are containing that uh, a button which is called as say I say comment. And when you click on the button comment, it should generate a comment form complete. Okay. So to understand this, I'm creating one more example and I'll generate the comment box on the click of this button and when I again click that button what it will do it will hide that particular box okay so we are actually creating a show hide comment form using inner html property so to do that I'll come back to my function and I recreate this function as I'll say where c form I want to say comment form c form equals to double quotes and I will say form action if you want to create an action you can create it so I will say action equals to say comment okay and then I will say enter name and for that I will write a line break here and to continue with the code, I'll put a uh, backslash so that I can continue with the code in the next line. And after the line break, I want to create an input type. So I'll say input type equals to text. Okay. And uh, name equals to say, I want to create F name for the first name value. And I close the text, uh, the text box. Next, I'll enter into the new line, line break. And then I want to say enter email after enter email I want to create a line break then I will say input type equals say email okay and its name should be email okay now one more thing I have mentioned uh, I should have mentioned here that it, I should continue with the line break so it will say input type equals to email name equals to email okay and uh, after that i will create one more line break in the form and after that i will say input type equals i'll say submit and uh, this submit button value should be uh, i'd say i should say post comment okay then form should be closed Okay, and then I will put the semicolon. So what it will do? If I refresh my page and I uh, click on the comment box, then it is not performing anything because I have created the variable, but I have not used the variable inside this div part. So to do that, what we'll have to do? We'll have to fetch the element which is named as uh, which has ID location. So I'll say document dot get element by ID get element by id which id i'll say lock location dot inner html should be equals to what i want to put i want to put this complete html code but this html code is defined inside this variable c form so i'll simply say c form okay now it should display the form you can see if i say comment it is generating a dynamically generated comment form and if i say post comment this post comment should submit the form and take the value to another page okay now if i again click the form you can see it is not getting headed so to do that we'll have to add some more functionality in that so for that i'll say i'll take one more variable which is which is named as flag so i'll say where flag equals to true okay and i'll only show this form whenever the flag is true otherwise i'll not show it so to do that i'll take the help of if else so i'll say if flag then display this form that is for fetch the element and display the form else inside this inner html property what you'll have to do we'll have to make it blank again okay if i refresh the page you can see on comment it is generating but again if i comment it is not getting hided why because what we have done we have taken the flag values true and we have shown this 
once it is shown we will have to make the flag as false okay and when we have generated it blank then inside that i will say flag equals to true not what it will do if it it will check whether the flag is true or not if the flag is true it will generate the element and then make the flag as false okay now if the flag is false what it will do it will check the document dot uh, this inner html it will fetch the element and it's it will set its inner html property as blank and it will again generate the flag as true now if i save the save this page and if i refresh the code you can see on comment click it is showing enter comment enter email and post comment and if i now again click the comment box it is hiding the output so on click it will show again if i click it will hide the document so this is how we can use the inner html property in our html forms to generate dynam dynamic html which is specifically the registration forms the comment boxes the links the text and so on okay so that's uh, this is for now in the upcoming lecture, we will discuss one more property which is called as inner text property. So, if you like the video, then you can uh, for, uh, subscribe our channel. And if you have any doubt, then you can ask in our comment section. Thank you so much.